Creating Subcircuits from SPICE Netlists, Part 2, Complex Multi-Terminal Operational Amplifiers. In TINA, you can create your own components from any SPICE subcircuit that you have made or downloaded from the internet. In this tutorial, we will present how to create a TINA macro component using a THS4121 SPICE subcircuit downloaded previously from the web. Click the Tools menu of TINA. Select the new macro wizard. Change the settings from Current Circuit to From File. Click the icon. Now you should navigate to the folder where the downloaded model is located. Select the Downloads folder, then enter THS4121.lib into the File Name field. Click Open. Let's name the new macro as THS4121M. Click Next. According to the message, more than one subcircuits are found in the file. Let's see the list. The second CSWILL subcircuit is an auxiliary circuit of the THS4121 model. Let's switch back to THS4121. Let's look at the netlist for CSWILL. Note that some manufacturers place several device models in the same lib file. You can bring these device models into TINA by selecting them one by one from the list. You can also use TINA's Library Manager to add several models in one step into the catalog. The use of Library Manager is shown in TINA's User's Manual and soon in another tutorial video. Now, with the THS4121 being selected, click Next. The list of available schematic symbols will appear. If you want a different symbol than the one automatically suggested, you can view and select a symbol by clicking the long vertical button on the right. Let's not change the automatically selected symbol and click Next. This dialog shows how the pin names and the graphic symbol are associated with the SPICE node name in the macro. You can also see the text and check if the connections are properly made. If so, then click Next. Let's modify the file name. In the Save dialog window, you can select where to save your file. If you click the little arrow next to the Save button, you will find two options, User Macros and the TINA Macros. Note that in the TINA Macros folder, you can save with administrator rights only. Click Save. By clicking the Insert button, the selected macro will be attached to your cursor, and you can place it wherever you wish on the workspace. Double-click the macro and press Enter Macro to see its content. By clicking the Compile icon, you can check the syntax of the macro. The macro text is formally correct and ready to work in TINA. Note that the macro opens under another tab of the schematic editor. Let's go to the main TINA screen. And now back to the macro. 
Click the Close icon on the toolbar if you wish to close the macro and go back to the schematic editor of Tina. Note there is another way to create a new macro in Tina. You can use the Auto Generate Shape option if you cannot find an acceptable shape. Let's go back to the New Macro Wizard dialog box. Select the Auto Generate Shape option. All connections are placed automatically on the box, but you can place them differently if you wish. Click Next. Let's place the connections according to the usual practice. Click the orientation field of the connection to be moved, then click the little arrow and select the new orientation. Repeat this procedure for all items where it is needed. Click Next. Rename the file. For example, THS 4121MM. Then save it. Insert the macro as previously shown. You can use this procedure for all ICs for which no standard symbols exist. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina. Free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud, the cloud-based multi-language installation-free online version of Tina running in your browser anywhere in the world.